Interesting. So we're gonna have to hold that in position. And then we're gonna follow the cuddle. What's the cuddle pup just eat her? <laughs> Omnum. I mean, she's definitely snack size for a cuddle pup. Comparatively. But the cuddle pups are just so benign looking. I know, they're and adorable. adorable. I, I like this. This game is, uh, solid. I don't think I have any other, like, really uh -huh. good description for it beyond just like, yeah, this is just a straight up good game. And that's it. it. It adds things at a decent enough pace. Yeah, it's it scales up the mechanics perfectly. Wow, that timing. Nice. Uh oh. This oh. There's glittering in that corner. Oh, I see how to get to it. Huh? Was there something? Yeah, there's you missed? treasure. I'm gonna follow the cuddle pup in. There's a uh, there's an empty spot. In between. I think I'm gonna just leave the sub in one of the safe spots. And then bring Marin. Because I think... If we do this... It's like right here. Balls. Uh-oh. You're gonna do Oh no, you didn't die. But now there's no way out. You nope. see the... You see the sparkles, though. I see the sparkles, but there's nothing to... Acquire okay. from that. I'm gonna try... Oh, I see it. See the barnacles right there? Uh-huh. Yeah, so we have to get, we have to go through these barnacles right here. Mm-hmm. But you Which we can't do, do for a while. And in, in fact, there's actually two sets of them. There's another there's another set of barnacles right there. Well that's annoying. Unless the real way through is in that little safe spot. Oh, it might be. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Okay. Bap! Oh. We're dead. Oh no, how far back does that set us? Fuck. Alright, whatever. Wait, what? Uh. We haven't saved recently. I was really oh, hoping I could great. be. You need, you need to get the head back again. I mean, not like that really is a problem. It's mostly just an annoyance. I think. That thing did not have a good day. You think you're starting to fade here? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we'll follow. Also, couldn't you have swum up and gotten the uh, red crystal back there? That's like the next section. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Because it looked like that was a rock you could have gone through. Maybe. We'll find out in like half a second. Okay. Oh yeah, it's this yeah. one. Yeah. So I guess we didn't need whatever it was. But oh, you can't come out. Yeah. So having the anti barnacle device would have worked. Yep. But that wasn't the necessary thing along the way here. Okay. So let's go get the head. Let's let's get the next gate open. Actually, you wanna? How about last long enough for us to get that Discord orb? That's a great stopping point. Okay, fine, fine. Because that's one more. Yeah. I'll, oh I'll no, try we to got the little jellyfishes. Okay, there we go. Get out. Run. <laughs> teleport. Magical teleportation. Somehow, I like the fact that you can though. Like it'd be kind of annoying if you couldn't. Okay, what time are we looking at? Eh, it's twelve twelve. Eh, maybe I'll play Rogue Lands for a bit. <laughs> Wasn't that the game some people are pressing you to play? Yeah. I, I haven't... I'm not much for streaming it, just because it's, like, kind of a grindy... Ah! Whoa, that is a more large calorie. big thing. Let's just send fire and brimstone at them. They do not like brimstone. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I really should be calling those squid calamari. It's almost like if you looked at a pig and said, Hey, pork. Hey, bacon. I mean... And a cow like beef. I'm fairly certain my parents had an animal named after the food it got turned into. <laughs> really? Yeah. Back in their farming days? Yep. Uh, it was definitely my mother. I could imagine. I, mean, I thought that her family had sheep, though. So what, did they have a sheep like named Lamb Chop? Like, Lamb no, Chops they had up? more than or that. Mutton? They totally had more than just sheep. Sheep were just the last, because sheep don't take any effort. I still can't effort. believe Lamb Chop existed. 
would name a lamb lamb chop? Lamb chop was it was a puppet. Yes, she was a puppet. In which? I don't Lamb Chop's play along. That's what the show was called. Oh. So it was like its own separate show. I almost never watched like children's television show, really. It was very old school. I remember it was the big thing in uh what was it? Third or fourth grade when the lady died and then Mr. Rogers died. Those were sad days. I'm trying to remember. I almost never, oh. Almost never had any, like. <laughs> okay. Marin can fit through passages too small for the sub. Uh. Is this one of those situations? It doesn't look like it, though. Every once in a while, it gives me a hint that looks contextual, but for the life of me, I can't tell if it's being real or not. You know? Oh, what if these... Are these bubbly passages? No. Mm. I just f swam into an oyster. Thing. Maybe? It, it it looks like something else. I'm not gonna say anything. Look, get your mind out of... <laughs> get, get your mind out of your pantaloons. Okay, maybe... Did I go in here already? No, okay. So here's the first head. One of these has got to open up the... Gate? Oh, I know. I know what we're supposed to do here. All right. So, yep. That's no, the other way around. The head doesn't go in there. Sure. There, there. What? Come on. On to the Mer okay. statue. So we get one head. To grab another. To get the other head. Now, if I'm lucky, I can actually just fire it over there. To be fair, the last time I did this, it ended in sadness. I thought she couldn't pull the heads off. No, oh, she can she pull can. the heads off. I just did it wrong the last time, I think. I'm a little bit worried about where the other head went. It I might think have actually... it may have respawned. That'd be annoying. Lost. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, one way or another, we don't need we don't need her to be doing this so we can go faster in the sub. Mm-hmm. Let's see if the head's still there. If it's not, uh... Oh, oh there it is. There's the head. Ah. Oh, you know what? It respawns just outside of. So you don't have to do it again. Well, that's considerate of them. I like that. Uh, let's see. We got that there. And let's see. I'm going to say Marin is the narrator. Older and telling the story to children. Maybe? I don't know. That's the kind of thing that I... You'd say you just tell it first person it's like and this is this is what I did next I mean maybe it could be her descendants or maybe it's sort of the mer people her themselves yeah it could be interesting if it was like the mer people's descendants telling the story it, she you know revitalized their species somehow by activating the tower or who knows what ooh uh well I mean Marin's dad uh, became a willing sacrifice and well, suddenly Marin as she spotted the second orb. She felt closer than ever to finding her father. Yet something troubled her about the orbs. Why did their very presence make her shiver? Because what you're actually activating is a, is a mega device that will allow the old empire to, uh... What? Wage war with the land dwellers? Uh... Maybe? I don't know. That reminds me of the short story that we had to write in a creative writing class back in high school. We were put randomly with a group of about seven other students. Each of us had to come up independently with a character and then find a way to actually have all the characters meet in the context of a plot and then interact and carry out a tale from beginning to end. So it was interesting because one friend had to come up with literally just a massive squid. That was her character, a massive squid. Um, I think there was, I had one friend had like a sort of merfolk character, but they had the capability of having legs as opposed to just a fin tail. Uh, there was a blue person who was a cobbler, uh, a fire breathing <laughs> when dog. When you say cobbler, I think of the dessert and I'm like, 
<laughs> no, not a cobbler. I'm talking about what, the shoe cobbler, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and a fire breathing dog. Uh, an el I, I think just a a ranger archer like character. But in any case, my character was Umber, the Keeper of Ages. He was a massive mech. Not like. Not like a uh, Voltron size mech. I'm talking about maybe nine foot tall mech. Speaking of, uh, huh? did you see of the any of the new uh, Voltron? Oh yeah, I saw a bit of that over at our good? friend's house. Um, it was okay. Uh, uh didn't really like the characters too much. Okay. But maybe that's because I just haven't seen enough of it. I just saw the pilot episodes. I've never been much into Voltron. But then again, the old ones were so old, they were <laughs> hardly worth considering. All right. Well, in any case, so... And then, yeah, my mech character, he was the last of his kind, forged by an ancient intellectual race that had used them as their bodyguards. But then in we decided to tie everything in together with, you know, two of the characters having derived from the sea. This clam has a weird diet. You're giving it an anchor? Yep. It it actually accepted it. Liked, it. it liked it. Wow. That really wasn't worth it, but it was kind of fun anyway. <laughs> so um, we had it that this giant squid was like the lord of all the sea creatures, and that he had waged war with the land dwellers who happened to be polluting the water. And uh, there was like a war millennia ago, maybe centuries, I forget how long the time span was, but that was the war that my character had survived, and he ended up just being a lore keeper in these archives. But in the meantime, human and other, like, civilizations had flourished in the city. There were, like, mages and, uh, blue cobblers, uh, fire-breathing dogs, yeah, you name it. Just sort of a weird high fantasy land. And in any case, uh, the conflict between the sea and the land was renewed, and my character had to convince the captured Mergirl to cease the hostilities. And it was interesting because it turned out that in the past war he had. Uh, sorry, I'm probably boring everyone. I, I like that phrasing, Mergirl. Mergirl. <laughs> Mergirl. <laughs> totally, it's mermaid, Mer but. Mergirl. Murgle. Uh, Hi. Uh, yes, I am the Murgle. Yep. So. We still haven't figured out how to get the Moai. Fun story. In the end, everything, everything was resolved. The humans knew what they were doing to the ocean, and everything was. I I, I forget if this giant squid was killed or not. Maybe he was. They ate him. He was tasty. <gasps> that they did. I remember that because. Uh, oh. One of my friend's characters was the last one to tell the tale, and she's like, "Yep." And everyone feasted on uh, like crab and calamari <laughs> that night. <laughs> the character doesn't show up until they become dinner. Uh, 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 what? Oh, that's beautifully morbid. I love it. No, 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 no. The giant squid's character was a character in the no, very I know. first I, chapter. No, I know. I'm just imagining he, it was like. He you completely have to... tore apart a merchant vessel. That was how he was introduced. We still haven't figured out how to get the Moai head smooth. Uh, I, I'm just imagining writing a story where one person's character is just a cow. And everybody's like, how are you going to fit that in? He's like, no, 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 no. Give me the last chapter. Don't worry about it. And in the end, they I... have hamburgers. I really need to paint my character. Just cool mech. Six eyes. Uh, You've already painted him, like, twice, though, haven't you? Right, but now that I've... It, hey, that was maybe five years ago, the last time Are I you? ever oh, attempted okay. to draw him. I can get through here. I, I can definitely can I? do better. Perfect. Okay. Infinite hey, health upgrade. Health fragments. Yay! Admittedly, these health, health fragments have not been particularly uh, useful in any way, shape, or form. Like, this game is so low stakes, it doesn't matter. Oh, interesting. Um, anything you can swim through to get that? Yeah, I'm. I'm sure. I'm sure. I just kind of found myself here, and I'm like, well, I guess I might as well just pick up all the upgrades while we're here. 
So you asked earlier, uh, what kind of weaponry I liked more. The torpedoes are definitely cool. The heat torpedoes are the ones that I like. Mm -hmm. The rest are kind of like, eh. But did, did you see how it had that like, oh, little hey, did heat? you ever get around to getting, getting that one? Uh, that one what? Uh, the orb. No, because we can't figure out how to get the Moai head to move. Not even with magma or other no. magic? Not yet, anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Put the skull next to it and then blast it with magma. Uh, could, should. Doubt that's gonna work, though. Might, though. The other alternative is getting uh, an enemy to, like, blast me. But I somehow doubt that's gonna work, either. You didn't bring the skull down with you. Yeah, I didn't think about it at the time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait, no, that's not the that's skull. That's not the skull. That's Look, it's the a skull. thing. Okay, yeah, we'll try blasting this, but I don't think it's going to work. That's probably okay. Come on. Nah. Uh, well, it... Huh. Can you blast the knob up at the top? No, probably wouldn't do oh, anything. Oh, my torpedoes destroy projectiles. That's awesome. Neat. Yeah, no, whatever it is, we'll have to get it later. And that's okay. Like, I'm not in a big hurry Oh, here. maybe you could approach it from below. Uh. Look at how thin that part of the hull is. We could is. also try and go in through the mouth. No. Nope. No. Yeah, she, can she go through there? About these things for a second. Yeah, we could try going in through the top. I'm just kind of under attack. Which is a little bit worrying. Not really, but it's enough. Also, I know how to get the eels this time around. Mm, nope. Nope. Back to the ship. Yeah. Nope, nothing. So this time... Jeez, these enemies are tenacious. Okay, so let's wait for the <laughs> laser to go back the other direction. We can get this one too. Oh yeah, we need to go back and uh, finish Portal 2 at some point. Yeah, indeed. The quest for cake. Did I? Mm. Did that not get it? All right, whatever. I don't care. You just keep whatever eel treasure they have, it's cake. not enough to be worth it. Uh, <laughs> and we've got yet more more secrets that we've missed. At least we've got a lot of the, like, power-ups that are letting us get these, so, like, the next loop through shouldn't be so bad. Okay. Um, I will admit, though, this is definitely slower than Ori and the Blind Forest. Like, Ori and the Blind Forest really made sense when you knew you didn't need a thing. This game's kind of weirdly indistinct. It's like, by the way, like, you need something here. What do you need? We're not telling you. It's just gonna be this kind of, like, vague thing. Hey, remember how we had to painstakingly climb up this? Whee! Oh, and I bonk off all the anchors. Ah! You don't even need them ah! anymore. Ah! Didn't exactly bank on that. Okay, whatever. What do we got up here? Oh, cannons. Uh. Oh, yay! There More we go. Treasure. Yep. More treasure. More treasure. Now, treasure is fish trophy. Well, well, at the very least, we'll be able to afford something by the time we're done with all of this. What it is, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I might not be able to fit through this. Not those guys at Damn the very it. end. Though you did have the option to hook them. No. It's giving me the attack icon. Um. Which is a separate thing entirely. And not what we're looking for, either. Okay, well, let's hit the saving thing. I'm just kind of looping through at this point, because we already we already completed one Nautilus. major objective. But we've also got a ton of other Two things of back behind. Oh. Well, this is going to be a problem. They can knock uh, themselves out. Okay, we should They're probably kill these guys. They're doing a fine job of it, too. Here's a question. Woo-wee. Ah, oh. well, that didn't work. Those are actually pretty effective flares. Yeah. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to... What? What? 
He didn't bonk himself? Uh, he also got stuck to the mag magma. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got him. Yeah, well, I can actually, I can actually grab a hold now that I've got the magma. Crap, that didn't work. Then again, they've... Wait, question. Ah, oh, wait. That did count. Okay, so I can actually get them to bonk into each other. That's great. <laughs> Isn't it that classic, uh, I'm gonna grab both your heads or was and smack it, them into was, each other Or was it the anchor? It no, the anchor, the anchor doesn't count. Okay, come on. Boop. No. <sighs> Okay, so I don't- it, they must have bonked into an anchor last time. Do you need to face them though? Where are you going? They're kind of inconvenient. For the treasure I was grabbing. Okay. Screw it. So when are you gonna get together with the guys? <sighs> Supposedly 1am. 1? Yeah, it always worries me a little bit when Bird gives me a time estimate. 30 minutes. Because I'm- I'm always like habitually a little late. Bird? So wild cardy, it's scary. Hey, I mean, that's what happens when you have a job, right? It's true. Oh. Shit, we couldn't get into this one. Because for whatever reason, it's got a plant growing on it. And there's not much I can do about that. Unless... Slurp. Yeah, we didn't do this earlier. At least I don't think. Huh. Where are you? Down here, I guess. That's it? What if what if this is it? Yeah. Maybe we have to bring this back down this tunnel. We've tried using those in the past. Maybe this time it actually matters. Cuz otherwise, what the heck is this? Also, this is Do you have an idea where you need to take it? Not a clue. Okay. Looks like a- I mean, it looks like this is a retrieval thing. It's the only thing at the end of the hallway. So, if it's not this, I have no idea. And it fizzled out. Oh, you kidding me. Fuck it. I don't care about a health kit that much. Like, we don't even take damage here. That is just grossly inconvenient. Mm-hmm. Fizzled Ooh, out on do you me. See the bones? Oh shit! Yeah, that's like a giant sea creature, sea monster. Whale bones are actually quite creepy. If You're you right. See them. I, I forgot about that. That might actually. It just could be a bonafide be a, whale. It could be a whale. Probably not though. It almost reminds me of a uh, Ursula's lair. I mean, it, this entire game reminds me of Ursula's lair. <laughs> Ursula was the single Disney villain that made my brother just permanently frightened of Disney films for a while. I mean, I have to say, of many of them, Ursula was definitely one of the creepier. Mm -hmm. Like, Jafar was kind of creepy, but he was mostly just power mad. He, he was skeezy creepy. I mean, yeah. forcing Jasmine into a belly dancing suit and, like, I you, mean, that's like Job of the Hutt creepy. Yeah. I wonder if that was actually, uh... Yeah, her outfit sort of did resemble Leia's. Ooh, hey. Uh, so this is all torpedoes? Or no, time torpedoes. These are volcano torpedoes. Uh, grabbing with the claw immediately after their launch, the bomb will orbit around the sub, spraying magma in a circle, damaging nearby enemies. Hell yeah. Mm, neat. What else we got? Uh, I should probably get tail cooler too. Still curious what other equipment we get. I I honestly do kind of wish though in this game that uh, a lot of the upgrades were uh, were found instead of bought, because I think I'd have more of a fun time looking for secrets that mattered as opposed to cash. Even though technically this makes more sense from a gameplay perspective. All right. Cuddles. I think we've come mostly full circle. Ne never mind. We have still got yet more treasure. Oh, there's that. <laughs> ah, I killed that as well. Oh, that's that's good. A hull fragment. Yep. Awesome. Okay. So I want to try. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> it's just a area of effect. 
Now you couldn't swim through there? To the right? Okay. I'm sure I could. I just wanted to heat shield something for once. It's not as cool as I'd like it to be. And that's okay. Luckily these... Jeez, these things are relentless. And giving yeah. me plenty of equipment. Or not equipment, goodies. No, we've already been in here. Did yeah, I? Up, oh, up to the right. We already, we already got this stuff from See, here. Right there, right there. Oh. Uh, yeah. No. No. It's a lighting puzzle. See the great, the diamond, uh, and all the other stuff. Darn it. Yeah. So we can't, we can't do anything with that yet. There's. Haven't we already been through here? Maybe things may have reset D at one point or another. Oh. Uh, mm, mm. When I died? I'm very confused. I don't think it was when I died. Well, we'll grab these coins. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's hit back. Let's get back to that vortex point and go back. I'm sure it, at this point. I don't know how to get any of these things, and it also, at this point, I've kind of lost interest in caring. Oh. Well, that's alright. Hey! I don't know how we missed that earlier. But okay. Uh, oh. Oh, wait, no. We've already been through that, but we've got a shortcut here, so it doesn't matter. Hey! Don't have to solve puzzles. Just have to bump off of everything. Can I pay for this? Do I have the money? No. Nope. Need okay, let's probably here. save up for the uh, the speed boost recharge. That seems like the most reasonable thing. Okay, I guess yeah. Let's let's use this. I don't think we've actually used a warp point before. Okay. Uh, Where do you want to go? Well, purple area. Look at the purple. We've got the mall. I just want to look around at the map at places we haven't been yet. Well, there's that one. Yeah, there's like that area there, but I think caves. we needed barnacles. Yeah, a lot of caves. Yeah, so I, I guess we're going for the Undying Caves next. Um. Wait. We went in there. Did we turn around? Must have. No, no, it warped us down into the Undying Caves. Mm hmm Like, we went through that and it kind of warped us down. Okay. So that's actually really easy. Let's go to the caves. Now, I would like to point something As she out. she entered the vortex, Marin felt herself spinning around. She braced herself against the sides of the sob. But when it finally stopped spinning, she had emerged in a different part of the world. Yep. I just want to point this out. We only have like four of these. I don't. I. I'm assuming it's not going to fill out the entire thing on oh, the left you mean there. Oh, there's like a section or two more. Yeah, like oh, chances are we've only got like five. No, well we've got f four areas now. I bet we've got like three or four left. Um, it, it's just kind of one of those where it's like looking at it, it's like we could only be like two hours into this game, and that's terrifying. Well, not out two or three hours, but you know we might only be like twenty percent of the way done with this game, Ooh. which I'd say would be terrifying, but it's really not actually. Swimming through? Yeah, I'd actually be really impressed if they made this game that long, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Energy. Yeah, so that just increases our energy cap. Part of the reason why I'm thinking this is, do you see how like how many health pips we can? Oh, I know. We can get like there's We're a very real through. possibility this game is long as shit, and we just didn't even realize. Immensely so. I mean, I'd be mildly okay with that actually if it was like a really. Oh, oh yeah. hey. So we can't get through here. Oh right. She but no, just... no, no, it's okay. There we go. Ah. Yeah, just... You just need to push it. Cram myself in a corner. Nope. That was a mistake. Oh, hey. We got it. Okay. There we go. Ah! Hi. That thing actually <laughs> has weight to it. I didn't realize. Or does it? I, I don't know. I Oh, it you know what? No, it was it the current. Hoping. That's what got, got it to fall. Let's see what time are we looking at. 
Think you can go for 20 more minutes? Or? I, I believe so. Okay. Let's, let's keep forging ahead. Yay! As tired as I am. We'll probably get this orb in 20 minutes. Especially if I don't, like, go to completionism on it. Because mm -hmm. obviously there's... Melodic hum emanated from the stones. She was sure she knew the song from somewhere, but couldn't quite place it. <laughs> well, listen. These are just the songs of the deep. Yeah. You know, I wonder if that's actually, that's the point. This is supposed to be the Song of the Deep. Probably not, though. Okay. One more another. Ooh. This is a segment specifically. A chill ran through Merrin's body as she swam into the depths of an old Merrow crypt. Ooh. See how we've got more and more barnacles here? Yep. This is where we get the anti-barnacle device, whatever the heck that's supposed to be. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe this is how we get back to this? Yeah. No, probably not. We probably get the anti-barnacle device to get in there. Okay. Uh, let's wait for that to go through. Uh, okay, got it. So how do you... Fears, she felt an irresistible urge to go on. As if unseen hands were pulling her deeper into the crypt. Mm -hmm. How do I? How do I? I, what? I don't see any dead bodies yet. True. I mean, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Not a lot of fish would probably eat bones, would they? Or have any interest in them? Well, just I—I I don't see any like sarcophagi or any kind of vessels. This truly is a crypt. Yep. No, that's a good point. It's it's very I mean it's creepy, but it almost seems more like it would be an ancient temple. Yeah, why are crimp crypts always the evil ones? People. I mean obviously like crypt, but like usually burial grounds are just like I guess full of the undead. They're just sad. There's always the fear of vengeful spirits yeah. or the unsettled. No, that's a good point. I mean, thinking about Fallout now. There we go. That's how we do this. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm just imagining her bashing into the rocks. Ouch, oh, yeah. This ouch. this would be painful. However, this is where we get the anti-barnacle knife. Coral knife. Yes. A versatile Meryl blade made of shells and coral. Meryl found an old coral knife in the deepest part of the crypt. A warmth rushed through her as she picked it up. With a quick swipe of the coral knife, the Colossus barnacles fell out of the way. You know, that is actually a good point. These are huge-ass barnacles. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for the whales that have them just growing, growing on, on them. them. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm actually going to go back to the sub for a second. We're gonna go get that treasure chest, whatever it is, for whatever reason. <laughs> the anti-barnacle clearing device, or ABCD. Hey, somebody got it! <laughs> I was wondering when somebody would. Uh, oh. Apparently it's the same button for the anti- uh, the ABCD and the G. Anti we need an E, F, and G here. Well, we've got the- we got the- we got the A, B, C, D. We need an E and F so we can fit in, fit in the G. Okay. Did we check what was up above? Ooh, we might even get the lasers uh, in can here, you too. smack the lasers with your knife? And... Uh, you know. Maybe. Probably not. I thought this was the crypt again. Yeah. But we had this whole area that we, like, knifed our way into. Mm. That we never had anything to do with. Yeah. Screw you, barnacles. Can you actually... Oh. Yeah, got it. Yep. Now you have a head. Where's the body you need to attach that to? Uh, I don't know. I'll just carry it with me until we find out. Not there, at least. Probably up and around to the right. Barnacle. 
Oh, yep. Oh, no, my head! <laughs> my head! It's, it's, there we go. It's, it's... Stupid barnacles. <laughs>